Hello, so I've completed a list of all the different work and things I need to do um, over the next week for a couple of my subjects. So how I plan out my study days is that first I'm just going to write a list of everything that I want to do over the next few days. Um, so going over my readings, studying my assessment tasks, going over my work and such as that. And then next I'll actually make a plan for every day of what tasks I'm going to do for every single day. And then I break it down into smaller pieces. that I want to do over the next five days for my subjects. So HCS204 is my research subject and IKC100 is my Indigenous health subject. And then OC183 is my communication and occupational therapy subject. But I only have one assessment left that I need to complete. So as you see, I've broken down everything. So from week one, week two for HCS. And then for IKC, I've broken it down from one week, second week, and then also week three and week four because after I've been looking at the subject outline and the assessment that I'm required to complete, I need to read ahead for the subject because a lot of the required readings for the assessment is later on in week three and week four. So I figured in the next few days, if I'm able to get that done, then I'm able to start on my assessment. So from looking at all these tasks that I have identified, I can then go and write my timetable of what tasks I'm wanting to complete every day. And then also what tasks am I going to prioritize over the others as well. I've completed my daily list for every single day and what activities I'll have to complete. So I prioritize my subjects as HTS204 first in the morning and then IKC and then OC103 late in the afternoon and that's because I'm pri prioritizing the harder subject first. I find HSC to be my hardest subject and I find the concepts to be harder to understand than the other two. So that's why I figure I'll do those ones in the morning. And I decided to put in nine tasks every single day over the next five days. Not too sure if it might be a bit too much for every single day, but I'll see how we go. Um, some tasks will obviously take longer than others. Um, the lectures are about an hour long. Some of the videos are about 30 minutes long. Some of the readings are very long, while others are really short. I'll just see how things go. I don't have any specific timing of how much time I'm going to dedicate to every single task. And I don't think I'll do that. I think I'll just measure how well I'll go every day, just if I'm able to complete the task or not. Um, one study method that I find very helpful is to do your work for 25 minutes and then have a five minute break. And then just to go between those two, I find that to be the most helpful because in those five minutes, I just like check my email, check my phone or something, and then I'm back into study. And then I might do that for maybe two to three hours. And then I might have a longer break um, I might have like a morning tea break, which might be like 15-20 minutes. And then for lunch, I'll give myself an hour. And then afternoon, I'll give myself another 15-20 minute break. Um, so that's really how I plan out my days for my studying, for my university work. Anyway, that's pretty much it for now. There's not too much to it. So that's it for today. Bye.